everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the long-awaited candle empties. Some of you guys have been asking about my candle empties and I do apologize but I just haven't been home. Like I've been working a ton and I wanted to make sure that I had enough candles to show you guys in an empty video otherwise it's really not worth it. So yeah so I have some candles here that were winners, but more so losers, unfortunately. I think like this is one of the only candle empty videos that I've done where I've had a lot of duds, a lot of problems. Um, so let's just jump right on into it. Like I said, some of them were good, some of them were bad. Okay, so this first one um, I'm going to start out with. This is a lantern and I think I got this straight from the company. This is um, Keepers of the Light, um, and it's also by the company called A Cheerful Giver. And basically these are sold at like Yonkers, uh, Bonton. I also know that they do have a website that you can order them online. Um, they come in like these big papa jars is what I was used to buying. Uh, but these were really cute and these were on clearance like a long time ago. Anyway, and it's this cute little lantern. It's got like a heart on the top of it. Um, this was in the fragrance Raspberry Lemonade. Now, the lanterns that I bought a long time ago, they mostly all like sooted and it was just like a really bad scent. This one was super good. The burn was great, the scent was amazing, and there was no soot. And I did not do um, a review on this just because uh, this, is, this is the last one that I have. So, finished that one. Um, I also finished by DW Home. This is Island Palm. And as you guys can see, um, it's like black on top and then it goes to green. That black is not supposed to be there. So um, this candle sooted really badly. There was a lot of soot on top, but I must say that the scent on this was amazing. Um, to me, it smelled like a pina colada and I just really loved it a lot. Um, and the way the flame flickered inside of this, it just glowed so beautifully. So everything was great about this one with the exception of all of the soot. I also finished this candle. Um, this was Jubilation Fragrance Collection, A Celebration of Life. And I was given this by the vendor. Uh, the burn was pretty good, as you guys can see, a little bit of mess, but not really any soot of any kind. And I just couldn't smell it. I couldn't smell it while burning. And now that I'm smelling it, it just kind of has like a little smoky scent to it. But I couldn't smell this one at all, so that was kind of a dud. But I did get perfume from her, and that is absolutely amazing. And actually, it's almost gone, so um, I'll be showing you guys that in my empties video. But anyway, I also finished a small um, Bath & Body Works candle. Again, you guys can see the soot. I had this in my bathroom, and this one didn't have any scent barely at all to it. Um, I did like the look of the candle, the label. I think it's really pretty, but it is in the scent Vanilla Beach Flower, and it just reads on here, stroll along the shore and breathe in the fragrance of vanilla flower, petals, sheer coconut, and soft beach musk. Finished that. I also finished by Bath & Body Works uh, Pineapple Mango. This one was a really, really good one. The burn was nice. Um, no soot at all and I could smell it so that was good. I had that in my bathroom. I also finished this candle. This was um, given to me by a viewer. It is the Capri Blue Aloha Orchid and it smelled magnificent. So, so good, beautiful, not a smoky smell in there at all. The only thing is, is that there was a lot of wax collected on the sides there, as you guys can see still. Um, but the scent was absolutely gorgeous and I loved it. Um, and I would definitely repurchase, well, I was gifted it, but I would purchase it for myself. It was that amazing. Um, I also finished two Bath & Body Works three-wick candles. 
one in garden party these are older candles uh the burn was okay as you guys can see something funky was kind of going on in there um and obviously the wax turned into like a pukey shit color kind of like grayish just not good um the scent on this was really good though it says you're cordially invited to enjoy a blend of pink garden roses and pear blossoms wrapped in soft musk it was basically floral just like a pinky floral and then I also finished spring which is also another older one of theirs um this one I had to trim the wicks obviously a lot on this it just got very like like the top of the wicks got very very big and I just had to trim them because like the flames were just going crazy this one was really good. It says a delicate blend of light rain, yellow daisy, and sycamore woods that contain the freshness of the season. Extremely floral. If you don't like grandma floral, you're not going to like this. I love grandma floral, and I just think that it's really pretty. So finished that. I also finished by Yankee Candle Lucky Green. As you guys can see, barely any soot and nice nice burn. That one was really good. I did that for St. Patrick's Day. Um, let's see. I also finished by Better Homes and Gardens. I picked this up at Walmart. This is Rainy Spring Day. I did a review on this candle and a little bit of soot on the top, but burn was pretty good. The only problem that I had with this candle was it wasn't as strong as what I would have liked it to be. Uh, but I do like the shape of these jars and like it's underneath six dollars. So, um, let's see, 17 ounces for underneath six dollars is a steal in my book. I also finished, oh no, another dud, uh, by Kringle Candle. Actually, this one smelled really good, but the burn was absolutely horrible. It is a beautiful, well, I don't even want to open it, you guys, because the soot is just so bad. I, I actually have soot all over my hands already. Um, this is Fields of Heather, and this was just a really beautiful floral fragrance. Um, I love the label, the label on the top, but yeah, the soot, you guys, was just literally overwhelming. I did trim the wick and I still had soot, so I don't know. Um, here's one by Yankee Candle Early Sunrise. Beautiful label. You guys are seeing that there is a ton of wax in here. The reason why there's a ton of wax is because my wick slipped. Like the wick went trailing down the early sunrise mountain and it never came back. So the wick got unstuck from the bottom of the jar, which has happened before in the past. This one was poured in 2013. And I did notice that some of the older candles do this with Yankee candles. So I just basically took the wick out because it was super close to the edge of the jar here. And I'm just gonna be putting this on my warmer or putting this whole thing in the freezer and popping out the wax and then just putting it, you know, in a warmer type of thing um, or a hot plate, I suppose you could do. Another candle that I have here, this is by DW Home. This is supposed to smell like wine, cabaret, something or other. I don't know. Um, it says notes of mint and cedar with a eucalyptus quality and a mystifying finish. I did not smell any eucalyptus or mint in here at all. It smelled like wine to me, so I don't know. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx. Also, I had some problems with the burn. Also, it was super strong in the beginning, and then when I got like a fourth of the way in, so I still had three-fourths of the candle left, I couldn't smell anything anymore. So in the store on cold, it was super strong. Um, you know, when I burned it a little bit, it was strong, and then all of a sudden, the scent just completely like went away, and I don't know what happened. Um, a good one, though, by DW Home was Gardenia Rose. This is a beautiful candle. I had this burning in my bathroom. By the way, um, the, some of these I didn't do reviews on just because I couldn't do all the reviews in all the lands. Um, but this one was really, really pretty. The burn was pretty good. I didn't really have any problems with it. Um, I like this kind of clouded glass type of jar, and it was just gorgeous, and the scent Oh, so pretty. I would definitely buy this one in a two wicker, uh, the large jar, but my TJ Maxx did not have it. 
And then another candle that I have by DW Home, this one was Blue Sapphire. This one was a little bit more pricey at $14.99. It was two wick. It has this beautiful gold um, case here, the top of it. And um, yeah, it had problems. It had a lot of problems. We had soot for days. Do you guys see those rings? It wouldn't have even mattered if I foiled this because it's dome shaped. So this should not have happened, but it did. You see all those layers there? It was just like a shit show. I couldn't barely smell it and I just, ugh. I regret purchasing this, but I mean, unfortunately, you're not gonna know until you burn the candle. Look at Snooky in the back, you guys. Isn't she so sweet? Oh my God, she is like my life. Anyway, okay. And then I also have another DW Home candle here. This one I had super, super high hopes for. This is the Orange Blossom and yeah. It smelled a lot like smoke. I thought that it was going to smell like an orange dreamsicle or orange sherbet. It was just smoky and it was just kind of a mess. Um, and yeah, I would not buy this candle. If you guys find this at TJ Maxx, do not buy it because it was not a good burn. The last candle that I have here that isn't empty is Australian Eucalyptus. Oh my God, you guys, if you find this at the outlet, buy it. I'm going to buy another one when I go to the outlet. So this is by um, Yankee Candle World Journeys. And all of their World Journey candles are in this shape with the two wick. And this was super, super strong. Right away when I started burning the candle, my sinuses literally just like cleared. Like it was a miracle. Like I could breathe again. Um super strong, a beautiful eucalyptus. As I got kind of down, it did, you know, um, it wasn't as strong as I would have liked, but it was super strong in the beginning. And like I said, it's one that I would definitely repurchase. So those are my candle empties. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, there are reviews on some of these candles that have already, um, aired on my channel. So definitely look for those. And yeah, if you guys have any of these candles, leave a comment down below and let me know how they did for you. Otherwise, I will see you guys all later and have a great day. Bye-bye.